Hello. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you? Long time no see. I know, I know. We're locked in our houses. We're quarantined. <laughs> We're self-isolated. We're going oh crazy. my gosh. It's like everything. It's just, that's a new trend. It's trending so hard. Oh my God. How are you? I'm good. So, I mean, I, you... I changed into jeans today um, so I could wash my sweatpants. So that was a good victory. Um, accomplishments, accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went to the porch of my house to take out my recycling. So I got a bit of fresh air. Um, and so far, those have been the highlights of my day. How about you? Oh my God. I'm good. Um, I literally just had a question. She has some questions and I wanted to ask you. So Tainomi needs to basically like, like the diva herself needs some questions answered. Is that it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, what yeah. is she doing right now? Ask, um, right now, well, she hasn't gone too crazy. It's been like a month and a bit and she literally chills at home, plays video games. She performs online. I know she has one of those sleeves that she puts on her private places <laughs> <laughs> and Good goes off. Her. So yeah, right. But like, I don't, I don't know. She wants to cuddle. She wants to get her tips with lips. Like, what do you? I don't know. Like, what do you think? Like, she's about that? Crazy. She's going crazy. Yeah. Okay. So. From what I know, because our good friends at the Gay Men's Sexual Health Alliance have briefed us, which is awesome. Um, basically, okay, so what Tainomi needs to know is that there is a very serious uh, pandemic <laughs> happening right now. I'm sure she's aware of this. Um, yeah, yeah. But basically, it's a respiratory um, uh, situation, and it's very, very, very contagious. I have a question for you, though. Of course. Um, like... Like I heard, well, she's heard. Um, if you're on, if you're on prep and stuff like that, like like you should be fine because it's like protecting you and everything like that. No, Tainomi, you know Tainomi. This is what we're here to we're here here to help her debunk some of the myths, right? So basically, yeah. the way you you can contract um, COVID nineteen is like droplets. Okay, so like through your mouth, spit that sort of thing, right? Moistly. Speaking. Moistly speaking, as our great prime minister uh, I said. told her. Moistly speaking. So basically, she wants her cheek tip. Yeah, she can't do that right now. Tiny, we cannot do that. So she can't suck a dick? Like, she can't suck a dick. Like, how about if I had, like, the wipes and to wipe off the penis? Like, she can't no. do that right now. Our diva, the, the <laughs> Canadian diva herself can't do that. Okay? <laughs> it's tough, but she can't do it. Okay. Oh, uh, um, I have one one thing that I found very important, or I had a question about. How about if you? How about you have like a sex partner that you, like you have your husband, but like how about if there's someone you regularly hook up with? What do you think about that? Like, should like should there be an honest, like super honest, like with each other, like like you know, because like Trudeau when he made his, his speech and announcements to everyone, it was like. I didn't feel like it was everyone, and I feel like our community is very important, and we are such we have a hookup type of lifestyle. So it's like, what do you what do you do? What do you feel about that? Like about having a close group of like or a close person that you could do this because if this is going to go on forever, naturally, I know the human body wants contact or some type of emotion. I know we're not supposed to be seeing anyone but like how about like what do you feel about that having a like, special honest connection with someone that you could share but, this moment with I mean I think it's um I I totally get that because it's it's tough like if you're a re if you're extroverted or you're like you know I know Tainomi is like like really thrives being around people and thrives off the energy of other people. And I think obviously, you know, uh, gay, bi, queer men, we, you know, we do love hooking up and we love, you know, we, we love sex and we love connecting with people sexually. We love all the dicks, you know, it's important. Um, but I mean, basically right now, what they're trying to do is like mitigate all the risks involved uh, of spreading 
this virus, right? So, yeah. I mean, basically the thing is, if you're close enough to have sex with someone, you're close enough to contract the virus, right? So, yeah. and especially because it's contracted through sort of like droplets or that kind of thing, right? And so, I mean, if you're having sex with people or, you know, hooking up with people, there is a chance that, you know, you could contract the virus, um, which isn't good. Um, and the other thing too is that, you know, it's really about not putting yourself or others at risk, right? But, and I think to go to your question about like, is it okay if, you know, maybe if this goes on for months and months and months, you know, I could see a scenario where people are like, fuck it, I can't do this anymore. Like, it's too difficult for me. I don't want to, I don't want to stay in my house. Like I need human contact, right? So yeah. I think right now, like to start, obviously, you know, everyone's saying stay home, stay isolated, protect yourself, protect others. But I think the most important thing is, is that obviously we're humans, we love human contact. So I think to start, what we should do is like find creative ways of, of getting off or having sex or feeling sexually fulfilled. Uh, I know Tainomi probably has some creative ways of doing that. Um, and Sheldon mm -hmm. too, probably. Um, yeah. She, have you seen her do or uh, make origami cranes with her bum hole? It's very, <laughs> it's very fascinating. I haven't seen that on Instagram Live yet. So that that has hopefully that can happen tonight on the uh, on the show. You know, we'll, we'll try. You know the rules and regulations of these communities by the <laughs> stickler. You know, so extra. But you, but you did bring a good point because I think it's like this is a really good point. Um, I think you know if this does last a long time, you know, like what you know and you really value human connection and you want to feel sexually fulfilled and you want that intimacy and you want that connection. Um, like yeah. what should you do? Right. And I think that that is um, a really good question that you brought up. Uh, Cause I think that like a lot of people will get to that point and they'll, they'll think like, fuck, I like, I want to have sex. I want to connect with someone. So yeah. I think like when we get to a, a, that point, I think there's something that, you know, like, they're calling it what they call it like a shared bubble essentially so oh so, let me write that down shared, shared bubble yeah so basically okay. if you've been self-isolating and you've been sort of like taking all the precautions to not to not put yourself at risk for contracting COVID-19 and you have maybe a fuck buddy or a partner or someone that you've connected with who also have been sort of going through the same measures to, to not put themselves at risk for contracting COVID-19, then the shared bubble, maybe you can have conversations about like, do you feel comfortable sort of connecting like to have sex and, and just being like honest with each other. That's the most important thing, like honest, communicative, um, and making sure that you're not putting each other at risk if you do sort of decide to have that kind of shared bubble relationship, right? Because it will get yeah. to a point where people are like, I can't handle this. It's too much for me. I need human connection. And so, yeah, that's, I think that that's a really good point you brought up because um, I think if we have, you know, if we're doing this through the next couple of months, there's going to be a breaking point for a lot of people. So, yeah. You know what? And I feel, I, I always say I have the apps and stuff like that. And I, on, especially on like Scruff, I know that certain communities to be there, like the, even the app itself, the company has said stuff about social distancing and, and let's pull together and be strong through this. And even a lot of the profiles have it right in their profile name, like I self isolating, love to chat, let's chat, let's do this, let's video. So I feel like we're doing better off than I thought I would. So, you know, like, we're, because we're just known for like, let's fuck, let's suck a dick. But like, I, I see more people in support of isolating on there and it really helps when the masses come together and not just one person. Agreed. So. And I think that that's the sentiment. I think everyone's sort of being like, like, let's kick this virus's ass and let's not overwhelm our healthcare system and let's do our part to make it happen. But like, we all have had those situations where, you know, your, your, um, like your sexual desires overwhelm your brain and you don't think like, a, you know, you don't think, you don't have rational thoughts. It's like sex, sex, sex. We've all been there, girl. We've all been there. Uh, <laughs> we've all been there, trust. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think like, obviously what, what I think we can all do is try our best, you know, um, to continue to self-isolate, to continue to, um, 
you know, take every measure to not put ourselves and others at risk. Um, and I think if we do get to a point where, you know, if you have, if you have a relationship with someone and you feel comfortable, maybe, you know, becoming sexual with one other individual, um, they call it basically like a closed loop. Like I'm self-isolating, you're self-isolating. Um, we're taking every measure, um, and we're only going between each other's houses. And when we go there, we're sort of taking every measure to be safe and to wash our hands and do all that thing. That's something you can consider. But I think right now what people really have to focus on is, um, you know, just making sure to like find creative ways to get off, like camming with people, phone sex. I feel like I've gotten like uh, so many dick pics in my Instagram uh, DMs. Like it's been, it's been awesome. <laughs> Dick pics, dick, dick, wow, sorry, dick pics. <laughs> dick pics are my favorite art. Like, I love it. It's like seeing the Mona and Lisa. Like, what was she feeling? Yeah. It's, yeah, so I love it. And you can tell a lot about, you can tell a lot by, like, you know, about a person by the kind of dick pic they send. Like, how, like, you know, how they choose to put it in the frame, in the photo, what kind of lighting they're using, right? But that's the time, you know what I mean? Like, again, you could be like, oh, this person doesn't have their shit together. This is a bad dick pic. But I think, I think at this point, it's like, let's focus first and foremost on, like, staying home, isolating, and finding creative ways to, like, get off that okay. don't put ourselves or other people at risk. And then... Okay. A few months down the line, if it's getting crazy, then we make sort of informed decisions and maybe we can figure out a way to sort of like share a bubble with someone, close the loop, make sure you're being honest and trustworthy with that person. And, um, and maybe like that's the next step um, down the line, further down the line. But right now, I think it's good that we sort of take every measure to, to stay home, stay healthy and not put others at risk. Oh, look at that. Well I know these are the things no she, she left for me. Honestly, <laughs> that that was very helpful though. So like I let her know as soon as she wakes up <laughs> from our slumbers. Um, but you know, no, that made me feel better even just talking to you about it. Um, I just had all these thoughts and feelings, and I just wanted to feel good about myself and make sure I'm doing the right thing. You know, yeah. it's a really weird time, and I think people. I think one thing we haven't considered in this is like is um you know and is that this is really affecting people's mental health and their well-being and and you know a lot of a lot of people really um do well in uh routine and structure and this has really thrown all of that out the window so it's hard yeah. so i think you know all we can do in this like i love that we're connecting because i think that all you can do in this situation is is like look out for each other uh, support each other, be kind to each other, be kind to yourself. Um, yeah. And that's, that's the most important thing, you know, is people are struggling. This is not normal. And so I think that like, you know, if we just look out for each other and support each other and uh, find creative ways to get off with each other, um, yeah. you know, we'll, we'll all come out of this um, a lot stronger, a lot more united and healthier. I'll stay in and I'll call you more. That's what I'll do. That's great. I mean, I think the most important thing, so if you want to tell Tainomi the, the thing, the most important yeah. things, stay home, stay healthy, find creative ways to get her rocks uh, off <laughs> and, uh, and like check in with her friends. You know, when she does get up and when she feels up to it, uh, check in with her friends, you know, let, let them know that she's doing well and check in and ask how they're doing, you know? You're, yeah, I will, I'll let her know. <laughs> Give her my best, tell her I love her. And I yeah. hope that like our chat helped sort of uh, clear some of the, debunk some of the, the myths out there. And just yeah. know that I want her to stay healthy and happy and, um, and find creative ways to, to get her Tainomi moments, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. She just needs the attention. She's gonna <laughs> get it. <laughs> good, good. All right. Have okay. a good one, okay? Yeah, love you. Bye. I'll talk to you later.